So guys, all right, well today I will be reviewing the Lincoln 180 HD. I purchased this from Home Depot about a year and a half ago, so I've been using it for a year and a half. I'll be telling you about my experience on it and how it's been working so far. Um, this ran me around, I don't know, give or take 800 and something dollars. I think it was like 799 when I bought it, but I think it went up to like eight something today. One thing to mention before you guys buy this machine is that it's 220 power. So this won't hook up to your normal garage outlet. You would have to have a two phase for 220 power, just so you guys know before you guys purchase this. If you guys do have a two phase power outlet in your garage, I do recommend it. This machine is great, especially for car stuff. Um, I did a lot of railings with this. I did a, a lot of car stuff, you know, suspension, welding clips, this and that. For that, it's really good. It's actually a little bit too strong. I mean, if you're gonna go with the car stuff, but for railings, uh, any miscellaneous project you got going on for like quarter inch steel, this is this will do the trick. It'll be more than enough. So this setup comes with the ground, your whip, and your gas, right? So you got your wire speed on your left and your voltage on the right. You got your on off button right here. You got your specifications for different type of wire applications right there. You got your positive and negative power right here. Here's the clamp for it. I'm going to throw in a MIG wire real quick just so I can run a few passes. I'm gonna throw in an 035 wire, one of the bigger ones, just so you can see how it burns it. All I need to do is hook up the gas and I'll run a few test beats for you guys. All right, so I just grabbed a few pieces of scratch. We're gonna make sure our ground is hooked up to the table. And if your table's not steel, remember, you gotta hook this up to the actual steel you're welding. Since it's all steel, I can hook it up to the table. I put this around D and two and a half. I'm gonna see how it, where it's at right now and then I'll fine tune it from there. Okay, a little slow. We're on 2.75. It's not bad. It's about an eighth of an inch, maybe 3 sixteenths, but then I'm pushing it. And that's D and around 2.75. All right, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Let's go to all the way up, which is E. We'll go around three. Turn it up a little more, 3.25. Here you can tell the biggest difference between the D and the E setting. We got around 3.25 there, but not that bad. 
And I could throw a few more passes, but I mean, I think you get the point. The machine does extremely well. If I go a little faster too, I can make that maybe a 16th, you know what I mean? But uh, for what I needed, especially for rails and miscellaneous steel, under a quarter inch, it does its job. It, it does really well. Like I said, I've had it for about a year and a half, and in this year and a half, I haven't had any problems with this. As a matter of fact, I've had uh, an older 100, an SP-135. That one I've had for like around 12 years, and it was the older model, and it's still working right now. So if you guys are interested in buying one of these, I recommend it. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problems with it. I will be making future videos diving into the welding aspect of it. Um, just how to dial the machines, what to look for when troubleshooting, um, just little stuff like that. If you guys have any questions about the machine that I can answer for you guys, please leave it down in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Like and subscribe for more videos. Um, I got a, also, as you can see in the back, I got a CNC machine that I want to show you guys around too. Uh, there's a few fab projects that I want to bring you guys in. So you guys can see the aspects of it, how it works. Not much to it, but to do it, man. So, like I said, leave a comment. I'll try to get to you guys as soon as I can. And yeah, appreciate the support, guys. Peace.